In this video, we're going to talk about how to calculate things such as the mean, the median, the mode, the standard deviation, the range, and the variance, uh, given a bunch of numbers. So here we have uh, these 10 numbers, 15, 27, 74, 36, 8, and so forth. So how can we uh, find the mean, median, mode uh, using Excel? Well, first, let's begin by finding the total. So we could use the sum function to get the total. And we could just highlight basically that column of data. And this will give us the sum, which is 349. Now, to calculate the mean, you can't use mean because that's not a function for Excel. So instead of that, you need to use the average function and then highlight these 10 numbers. And so that's how you can easily calculate the mean. You can also calculate the mean by taking the average of any set of numbers. It doesn't have to be listed in separate cells. For example, if I want to find the average between 12, 18, 20, and 26, I could just simply enter it into a single cell. And that will give me the average of those four numbers, which you can see here. Now, another way in which we can get the mean found in cell B13 is we could take the total, which is found in B12, and divide it by the number of numbers that we have. So we have 10 data points. So if we divide the total by 10, that will give us the same average or mean. Now sometimes you may not know how many uh, numbers you have. Here we can see it's 10 because it stops at the 10th row. But let's say if we had a long list of numbers. What you could do is you can use the count function to count how many numbers you have. So if you highlight this, you'll see that you have 10 numbers. And so if you ever have a long list of numbers and you don't want to count it, you could just use the count function to quickly count it. Now, before we use Excel to calculate the median, let's list these numbers in increase in order. So the lowest number is 8. And then after 8, we have 15. In fact, we have three 15s. Then after 15, the next highest number is 24. And then it's 27. After 27, it's 36. And then 42. After 42, it's 74. And then the highest is 93. That's the last one. So we have 10 numbers. And let's confirm it using the count function. And so we can see that it's 10. Now, before we calculate the median using Excel, let's do it the old-fashioned way. So I'm going to use the drawn function of Excel. So which number is in the middle? Well, let's find out. Let's eliminate the last number and the first number. And then let's eliminate the next two numbers until we get the number in the middle. So notice that there's two numbers in the middle, 24 and 27. When you get into a situation like that, the median will simply be the average of those two numbers. So let's go ahead and average those two numbers. So you can write equal and then average and then type the two numbers in 24 comma 27. And so that's 25.5. Now to use Excel, simply type equal median and then highlight the 10 numbers automatically it's going to give you the median, which is 25.5. As you can see, these two are the same. Now, what about the mode? How can we calculate the mode or identify it in this example? Now, it's easy to identify once you have everything listed in ascendant order. The mode is simply the number that has the highest frequency or that occurs the most in a list of numbers. In this case, 15 is the number that is written the most. We have three 15s in this number, so 15 is the mode. 
it has the highest frequency in the list. So to calculate it, or to identify it, type in equal mode, and then highlight everything that's here. And we'll get 15. Now the maximum is simply the highest number in this range. And so the maximum is going to be 93. But to use Excel to find it, type in equal, max, and then select the list of numbers that you have. Now for the minimum, you could do the same thing. Just equal, min, and then select this option. So that's pretty straightforward. So if you have a, a long list of numbers, you can easily use Excel to calculate all of these things instead of listing out all the numbers and finding it yourself. Now the range is simply the difference between the maximum value and the minimum value. So the range is going to be the difference between the data or the number that's found in cell B16, which is 93, minus the number found in B5, I mean B17, which is 8. And so 85 is the range. So that's the difference between the maximum value and the minimum value. Next up, we have the sample standard deviation, or the standard deviation of a sample. So how can we calculate that? Well, to use Excel, type in equal stdev.s, because there's population standard deviation and sample standard deviation. So you'll get different answers for those two. So the standard deviation of a sample is going to be bigger than the standard deviation of a population. So once you highlight that column, you'll get the answer, which is 27.986. Now, there is a formula that you can use to get this answer. So I'm going to draw it. And so that formula is S is equal to the square root of the summation of the sample point minus the mean. So it's the summation of the square differences between the sample and the mean divided by n minus 1. And all of that is still within the square root. Now let me just use a different color but with a smaller ink. Now, the formula for the population standard deviation, it looks very similar. However, you're going to use the population mean. But instead of n minus 1, it's going to be n. And so this is where it differs. Now, keep in mind, if you want to find the standard deviation of something, you don't have to place it in different cells like this. For example, if we want to find the standard deviation of the first five numbers, 1 through 5, just type in STDEV, and let's use the sample standard deviation, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And so for the first five numbers, it's 1.581. If you wish to calculate the population standard deviation for those first five numbers, you can follow the same format. As you can see, it's a little bit less than the sample standard deviation. So let's go ahead and finish this problem. So the population standard deviation for the numbers that we have is going to be 26.5497 with some other numbers. Now, what about the variance? So there's sample variance and there's population variance. So type in equal var dot s and then highlight the 10 numbers. And so that is the variance for the sample. And for the population, type in equals. Sometimes I forget to do that. var dot p and then select the 10 cells. So the population variance is 704.89. Now, the sample variance is simply the square 
of the sample standard deviation. So we can get the same answer if we take the data in cell B19 and square it. So make sure you put equal, then parentheses B19, shift 6 to put that little up arrow, and that's how you can raise a number to an exponent and then square it. So as you can see, we get the same answer. Or we can do, to get the population variance, we can square the data that's in cell B20. And that will give us 704.89. And so that's how you can calculate the variance from standard deviation. And that's it for this video. Now you know how to calculate the mean, median, mode, the range, the standard deviation, and the variance using Excel. Thanks for watching.